New media is basically uh, anything that involves like newer technology, um, digital artwork that's either done on a computer or a tablet. There's 3D, VR, virtual reality, augmented reality, um, all these like new technologies and, and formats basically. I took an animation course and in that course we had to do uh, stop motion, stop, stop animation, traditional hand drawing, and then we had to do 2D, and then we did some 3D stuff, and we used Maya. Uh, learning to use Maya was a whole like paradigm shift for me, because it's like uh, quite actually like a god machine. Like from infinite nothingness, you can create like anything, and I just was really, or am still really into everything that it has to offer and it's just one of those things where I can just sit down and learn like a, a new thing, that either, either like a physics engine or a new process for doing something that I was doing slow and clunky before. Um, but it's just something that's just endlessly fascinating and has so many, so much potential. When I was a kid drawing, uh, there was so much that I wanted to be able to draw and was I'm naturally frustrated at my own skill level and, and even understanding uh, on a level that I could only get so good at like photorealism and photorealism takes so much time. Uh, so being able to just delve into 3D, it like changed everything. I, I'm currently doing a, a portrait series uh, called Diorama that is uh, 3D, like 3D scans of uh, other artists and friends, uh, their heads. And that is a collaborative project with uh, myself and the subject. It's a whole back and forth that I have with them uh, after, after the initial scan. And we kind of, it's kind of like dollhouse where we can like, what, what kind of, where do you want to be? Uh, what do you want to be there? Uh, what are the, some of the things like you want in the space? Like the platform itself, the, the possibilities are, you can go in any direction. One thing that I thought was very fascinating in um, taking like cinema classes was how much is going on like behind the cameras and just out of frame. And with, with Blender and Maya, um, when I build these worlds and these scenes, uh, there is a little bit of that where um, be mindful of the camera and there are some stuff that's kind of dirty, uh, rough, rough edge stuff that I kept kind of out of the render. Very quickly into when I was playing around with that, I found that what's more intriguing is actually seeing kind of like the edges of these sets or these pieces. So I did a, a number of renders at the start of um, some of these projects where it's like the perfectly kind of curated, framed, um, lit perspective that's rendered out, but then I like to kind of take the camera and zoom it back and show some of like the bare edges, like where the, where the texture ends or where like it's not even a complete room. I suppose like the main product of each of these when it comes to the render or the 3D scene that can be viewed, it's equally both. I definitely put forth the the images because those kind of like circulate easier. Uh, the thing with the 3D scene, like it, it can only be viewed on like a on like a desktop, and depending on your desktop, like it, it takes a while to load some of these scenes because there's a lot of a lot of geometry and a lot of information. So our social media and the current device technology has made the the 3D scenes more secondary, more of a more of a bonus probably in terms of the product side by side. I would say that that's probably the most interesting piece, but it's not as, um, it's not as ubiquitous as photo sharing is. The technological like limitations of sharing some things like these large file format, interactable 3D um, scenes is uh, just, right at the crux of what being like a new media artist is because a lot of it is chasing new technology and just trying to keep your finger on the pulse in terms of what's newly capable um, things that have already been capable how much easier they are it's constantly grappling with the fact that a lot of what i'm making isn't easy to share 
on a large enough scale or a, a, a scale that's similar to say like photography or drawing, painting, videography and all that stuff. It's all uh, a learning experience. There's definitely a lot of uh, obstacles, um, but it's something that uh, I, I love and I'm still just endlessly fascinated by.